the past few years, I've been super passionate and curious about technology and the impact it can have on the future of our world. What if I told you we can start creating real, tangible social impact and start solving some of the world's most important problems right here and right now? My journey towards this dream started at the Knowledge Society, a human accelerator program here in Toronto for high school students designed to build some of the most exceptional people in the world to solve some of the world's most important problems. Through this program, I got exposed to technologies like artificial intelligence, brain-computer interfaces, genomics, but virtual reality really caught my eye. When I went online and I saw all the amazing 3D VR content, I wanted to try out an experience of my own as soon as I could. So I went out there and got myself a headset and got into my first experience. When I got in there, I was completely amazed about how magical and breathtaking the entire experience was. I could see trees, animals, mountains, and cities that did not exist in our real world. At that point, I didn't know too much about the actual technology, but what I did know, that the insane opportunity to create real social impact and change in the world using a technology like VR. Virtual reality is a technology that enables us to create new artificial worlds that are contained within head-mounted displays, and we can display customized 3D content with them. Some of the world's biggest companies like Microsoft, Apple, Google, and Facebook are all super invested in this industry because they know that this is the future of how humans are going to interact overall. But in my opinion, virtual reality isn't really a technology. It's a feeling. VR will only reach the pinnacle of technology when it's able to really simulate and shape our emotions and feelings. We should be designing VR for a brain and not for our eyes. We should be designing it in terms of senses, emotions, feelings, and thoughts, so we can get as close to our existing reality as possible. Now, we've been throwing around this word, innovation, for the past few years, but do we really know what it means and what it meant in the past, present, and future? In the past, we were in the age of incremental innovation, where we were adding features and technologies at a slow pace to build technology, in terms of the internet, cars, airplanes, all that type of stuff. And now, in the present, we're in the stage of disruptive innovation, where every advancement is 10 times the last one. And this can include things like genomics, space exploration, solar energy, and virtual reality. But in the future, how about we talk about changing the world altogether? How about we throw all past concepts out the window and change how entire industries operate completely and use technologies to completely change how the world works? And my vision on how this can happen with virtual reality is creating a utopia. And we've heard this word in science fiction movies like The Matrix or Ready Player One. And we've been going through hundreds of years without really making an attempt to create this ideal world. But I think we should start building it right now. And my definition of this utopia is a virtual world in which everything is perfect and humans have the ability to shape who they are in the future. Some of the really important big world problems that a utopia can solve include housing or education, distance, and identity. In terms of housing, housing right now is based on proximity to a core location within a city, like downtown. But within a virtual world, distance is immaterial because we're in this completely digital space where that really doesn't matter anymore, and this will bring cost of housing so much lower than it is right now. With education, we can completely revolutionize it when we're able to centralize it in terms of universities, schools, professors, and opportunities. This will play a key part in getting our world out of something like poverty and creating a prosperous world. Another problem that it can really tackle is distance, and this is a problem that's in my life myself. And my family and my brother are here in Toronto right now, and all the rest of my family are all in India. Imagine having the ability to essentially teleport them into our world and feel and interact with them as if it was in real life. But I think the ultimate problem for a utopia to solve 
is identity. And identity, is, there's two parts to it. One being your biology, and the second, your experiences. Right now, there being insane advancements being made in biology with gene editing, human longevity, and pharmacogenomics. But I think the key part for VR to play in this entire equation is with experiences and how we can shape people's identity using experiences. I got the chance to try this experience where I got to enter an Egyptian tomb that no longer exists. And this is a very unique opportunity, and most people don't get to actually go inside this Egyptian tomb. And in VR, we're able to do that and really try something that crazy that very few people in the world have actually tried out before. And this really showed me how we can be using these experiences to shape who we are and give us perspective that we usually would not get in our lives. And this doesn't have to be something as crazy as doing something that not a lot of people have done. It can be something really small, like a meaningful conversation. Another section to this is empathy. Imagine having the ability to live your life as a refugee for a week and really gain completely new perspective, gratitude, and really understand how privileged you are so you can really value your entire life. But if we want to bring upon this entire utopia, we need to start building this technology right now. Virtual reality is at the cusp of growing immensely, and we need to start taking advantage of this. We need to start building meaningful applications that are going to bring virtual reality into mass adoption and allow for us to start creating social impact with it. But right now, we have a gap between this reality and the promise. The technology just isn't there right now in terms of head-mounted displays or haptic feedback. We need some of the smartest people in the world to start getting involved in this industry if we really want to start creating the technology that can eventually get us to start building a utopia. And me, personally, I'm super passionate about virtual reality and technology. And when I think about it, I really want to create something that's impactful, not in terms of marketing or gaming or entertainment. I want to create something that can really change the lives of billions and billions of people. And I think creating something like an entirely new world, like nothing gets bigger than that. By 2050, this reality will barely exist. All we'll know is a mixed reality, which will become our default reality. Just like how the internet used to be foreign to our grandparents, VR will be foreign to everyone here if we don't start getting involved in the space right now as developers, creators, or pioneers. We need all the smartest people in the world to play key roles if you want to create this utopia that will create a perfect, positive, and exciting future. Thank you. <laughs>